Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do I have this going correctly? I hope so. Which I'm continually... Okay, cool. Good morning. I think I'm here. <clears throat> Sorry, for whatever reason, um, Zoom has uh, completely locked into my cell phone. And it's funny because every single time, every time it happens, I think to myself, oh, I gotta, I gotta fix this. I gotta disconnect my cell phone from my Zoom. Um, but then every time I think of that, it's when the call starts and when the call ends, my thoughts are like 10 steps ahead and I just, you know, do the same thing all over again. So that is my circular logic to start today. Frida, I did see that you emailed me. I did not read it yet and I will read it. See, I got you already. Hello, Anthony. Hey, Frida. Um, so welcome, everyone. I, have, uh, I hope everyone had a really great weekend. I did. I was held completely hostage. You know, usually on the weekend, I get to like kind of sneak away to my computer a little bit. Um, but this weekend, I just could not. I was not allowed to. My wife says she would divorce me and I, I like staying married. So um, I did not do much, but that's because I told her <laughs> that this week is going to be super like I'm going to be, um, what is it called? Handcuffed to the computer. Good morning, Ian. Ian, we just sent you your Rhino 62. For those that don't know how Ian accomplished that, so we do have a partnership program where we have many lander pages and you could offer your affiliate link to whomever. Uh, Frida, I sent yours too. You, I think I like 28 or something. And you could offer your affiliate link to anyone and it, and it tracks the performance back to you. And um, as people click it, they come to the lander page and they're counted as a visitor. That person visited the page and that was credited to you. On top of that, now if that person decides to opt in, they they be, they say, "Hey, I love Rhino. I'd like to be a part of it." That's an opt-in. If you accumulate more than ten opt-ins in a week, we call it the Ian uh, the Ian reward because he's the first one to have accomplished it. We will double the twenty-five Rhino that we offer for a hundred visitors um, to fifty plus one Rhino for each one of those opt-ins. So Ian uh, got sixty-two Rhino today, which I think when you do the math comes out to like. $150, I don't know, some some large number, right? So Ian, congratulations. I need to get with the program. Uh, yeah, so actually, where is the link to be a part of it? Oh, it's in the culture. So let me see if I could do this. My Rhino Bucks link doesn't go to Rhino Bucks. Um, no one's affiliate link goes to Rhino Bucks. Um, it goes to the lander page. So I'm looking it up right now. I know you can see my face, but I cannot see yours because I have one screen in front of me. I'm going to get the affiliate link for everyone to participate. If you're not in yet, you definitely should um, because a lot of people are doing quite well. I think I sent out over 200 and something Rhino today, um, which is a lot of money. It's like $500. Okay, I sent you an email of a clock. Okay. Um, I will take a look at it. So everyone go ahead and check that out. If you're not a part of it, you should. If you are, you know, um, we do send out emails every week to those that are in the affiliate program where I'll go ahead and take a little bit of time and come up with new copy, new um, new ideas, um, you know, post this in Facebook groups, post this in Twitter groups, post this in LinkedIn groups. Um, this is a great email to send. This is a great text message. And of course, um, if you like it, you like it. If not, you know, maybe it spurs an idea or whatnot. But we do try to go ahead and make sure that we're always there to support your efforts, and um, that's a good thing. So let's see, getting to today. Uh, Rhino, new all-time high. I think it got to 236 this morning, uh, somewhere over there, which is really good. Um, more businesses listed, I think another four. I think we're at 518. Uh, Rhino sponsors back up to 352. Now, for everyone that has been following that number, we have bounced between 350 and 355 for like a month, month and a half now. And, um, you know, uh, I think someone the other day said, oh, plateauing is okay. You, you plateau and, and then you take the next step higher, which is totally true. But our efforts haven't been to go ahead and get that number up. Our focus is, right? That's something we want to do. But in really taking it to the next level, our focus has been, well, what can we offer that is super cool right like what's the thing that we could offer that grabs everyone's attention what's the thing that we could offer that no one else has and you'd be silly not to participate with rhino not only because can you um receive this offer but she could also be a part of it um and that's something bigger right so you could learn how to you know you could buy a fish every day or you could learn to fish 
And of course, by learning to fish, you might go hungry for a little bit because you're not actively fishing. You're, you're learning how to do it or you're not buying them. But at the end of the day, you would have uh, figured out a way to have an abundance of fish. And what we decided to do, and we uh, shared this last week, was we believe there's a budding industry that no one's aware of called promptology. And we do believe that AI, although we have, you know, first access to it, that's pretty cool. Anybody could get access to it, right? Like anyone could go to open AI right now, open an account with them and have access to ChatGBT and Dali. Now you might not get the approvals to go ahead and then put it on your website and integrate it into your search engine, but maybe you don't have the search engine. Like maybe that's not something you care to do. So if that's possible right now, if everyone's able to get it right now, well, then what does that say about the future? Well, it says that the future is quite bright and it's going to be something that's um, readily available, that everyone will have it. In fact, I can turn ChatGPT into an on-phone app right now and put it on my home screen and, and click it. That's easy. I can do that. So why don't you? And I'm not directing that anyone at this call, but I'm directing it more towards time. In a year from now, it seems quite likely that everyone would have done it. In a year from now, it might seem quite likely that your search engine might actually be just ChatGPT. You might go ahead into your settings and say default search engine ChatGPT, not Google. Which means if it's technology that everyone can have, yeah, that's great. But what do you do with it? If everyone can have something, what separates those that are doing well from those that are not doing well or those that are not doing as well? And that's what we believe promptology is going to be. The art of actually knowing how to create the prompt that's going to equal the result or the outcome in these AI search engines. So for instance, I tried to demonstrate Friday, but, or maybe was it Saturday, but I, I didn't do a very good job of it. But if you went on to ChatGPT or Rhino Street for that matter, I kind of like represent a little bit, right? So if you went on to Rhino Street and you said, um, you know, what's the, um, what's the best, uh, how do you make a chicken pot pie, right? It'll give you a, a fairly simple explanation because it's a very open-ended question. But if you typed in, how do you make the award-winning chicken pot pie from the 2006 Kentucky Derby um, that uh, was made by Gordon Ramsay? Now, of course, all that's not true. Like, I don't know any of that to be true. But if you follow along with me, you'll say, wow, obviously the outcome in how do you make a chicken pot pie versus how did Gordon Ramsay make it in the award-winning Kentucky Derby of 2006 is going to be quite different. In fact, the outcome for the latter, the Gordon Ramsay 2006 one, is going to be a much more valuable outcome. To know that outcome, you would know the award-winning recipe by the world-renowned chef, and in having that, your chicken pot pie is going to be better than the other person's. The only difference between you and the other person was that you knew the correct prompt to put in. You knew um, something they didn't promptology, the science, or at least, I guess, ology is science, the science of prompts. Now, to my complete surprise, as I was going through this over the weekend, I decided to buy promptology.com, which actually is already owned. Um, but it's up for sale. It was like 1600 to buy it. And I'm not rich, right? Like I don't have $1,600 around. So I did it. But I was thinking promptology, it's an artificial intelligence, it's an AI thing. And everything AI is dot AI. Well, guess what? Promptology dot AI was available. It was 250 bucks, but it was available, so I bought it. Then promptology dot CO was available for like a dollar, so I bought it. Promptology dot IO was available for like ten dollars, so I bought it. Dot biz was available, so I bought it. Dot US was available, so I bought it. And I really truly believe, like I I felt like I just invested in like the best thing ever. I don't see a world where proptology is not the next science. Like it's going to be a really big deal. So we would like to go ahead and spearhead that, right? If Rhino can be the one to spearhead that and make awareness of it, well, super cool. How are we going to do that? So of course we have those websites now and we're going to make use of them. But the project that we're working on this week is in researching all of the AI platforms that are available and integrating it into one system. Now there are now that sounds big and it is right but I don't mean to share that we haven't started already doing this. Which by the way I've never been a fan of TikTok, but it's simply because I never was on TikTok. I was just like, oh that's where 
kids go to over-sexualize themselves and I don't know, right? Like that's just what it seemed to me. And, and there's a lot of that, right? So I don't wanna take that away. But the cool thing about TikTok is the algorithm is quite strong. So when I'm on TikTok, I'm liking videos on AI. I'm liking videos on ChatGPT. I'm liking videos on you know business stuff. And as a result, all of the entrepreneurs that are in the that are really trying to spearhead those industries are posting amazing content. Like they're the best, right? They are the person that's creating the content and they're trying to get over on the other one. So they're inventing new stuff all the time. Um, so two things. One, I think we're gonna start. Um, I, I think I need to start posting stuff that's unique to us, like promptology. And I think that could really take off there. Now that's step two, I'm not doing that yet, but it is a good idea. But um, the other point that I was trying to make was, I've taken notice of all these different videos. Every time someone posts a, and these are the five AI websites you need to know right now, or these are the 10 AI websites that could make you a million dollars overnight. I've saved all of them. And I'm going through them all today. I'm taking all the websites down, taking note of them. Then I'm going through each website. What does it do? And I'm going to create a bit of a wireframe. Okay, these 50 AIs I have available right now, this is what each one of these 50 AIs do. Now, if we stack them, how can it be beneficial, right? So say, for instance, I wanted to go ahead and say, I'm looking to sell chicken Popeyes. How can I sell chicken Popeyes? I want to create a user interface that allows me to say, I want to sell chicken Popeyes, all right? And upon doing so, a bunch of things are triggered, right? Like um, 10 blog posts are triggered to write chicken Popeye blog posts in different styles over a, um, a, a defined uh, duration, right? So of these 10 blog uh, posts, the first one's going to be written immediately, the next one's going to be written in 17 hours from then, the next one's going to be written 10 hours from then, each one's gonna be in this style, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's one thing. Well, what about Twitter? Shouldn't there be Twitter postings about this? Yes, I want Twitter postings, but I want them to have these pictures and I want them to go ahead and identify the leading uh, hashtag in chicken pot pies and retweet at them and see what happens. Okay, that sounds cool. Shouldn't you have an Instagram strategy? Yeah, I wanna go ahead and zap this over that these posts are now being zapped over to Instagram and posting as they go. Shouldn't you have a Facebook strategy? Yes, so forth and so forth. Shouldn't you have paid ads? Yeah, maybe. Shouldn't you create websites right away? Yeah. Shouldn't you create tutorials right away that someone could go to? Shouldn't you have a chat bot right away? Shouldn't you have a live person that's speaking right away? Couldn't you have all of this stuff? Could you have a full presentation with eight slides? Could you have YouTube videos being posted as you speak? Could you do all of that? Could you have a, a booking link? Could you be taking calls? Could you have a sales link? Could you be making sales? Could you do all that stuff by pressing chicken pot pies and enter? Um, since you have a paid plan with OpenAI, can you put the code version on there for your rhinos that could use it? Can you put the code version on there? I don't actually know what that means. Um, so I do have a paid plan. The code version, like anyone could use OpenAI um, and you could get the free plan. We have the plan uh, on Rhino Street that allows you to use it. So we're paying for everyone to use it. What I'm describing right now is something quite different. So we're gonna integrate all of this stuff. And the question is, can we go ahead and create this? Can we stack all this stuff? And if we can, what platform can we do it on? So we have Kartra and I, I think Kartra allows agency model. I don't know if they allow agency model in terms of you can create a project product and you could create an agency off your product, or if it's just you can be the affiliate for Kartra. I don't know. I got to take a look into it. I know Go High Level, uh, when we were with Eric, we thought of doing something like, well, not like this, but an agency model, and that would be a solution. So I want to go ahead and create a stack of all of this and then create a software or an agency that allows everyone to just participate, where I can say chat GPT code will code anything in any language. Yeah. Um, so we couldn't see the thing is when we're talking about what we're doing right now, we have to integrate all of these platforms and stack them. So it's not going to be coding as much as it is um, uh, triggers. So if this happens, this needs to zap over to that and it needs to trigger this, this and this, right? 
Um, so it's, it's just, it's a little different. Um, but of course the answer is if I could do something, give it to you, the answer is yes, right? Um, so that's kind of where we're going with that. Now, the goal is that by Friday, we're able to do it. In which case, now how do we monetize it? Now, of course we don't sell anything, uh, nor do we ever want to. Uh, as it pertains to our coin though, we do need to support it. So is it true that you can go ahead and create a product or create a service and charge a subscription fee or whatnot and still not sell anything, right? Because it's not coming to us. And I think the answer is yes. And if we're able to do that, in which case, say it's like $5 a week or some silly, very, very low number, and that money's going into the coin, well, then even better because everyone owns the coin. So it, it goes up even stronger, like the liquidity becomes more. So that's what we're trying to stack. It's going to create something that's new, bring new people into it, offer it out for free. Let it be for the benefit of the coin because the coin is how everyone owns part of the community and everyone goes ahead and makes money based on it. So that's what this week looks like. So is a pivot from all of it? No, 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 it's, it's an addition. Um, we want to go ahead and Rhino Street and Rhino Bucks, but how do we go ahead and continually introducing ourselves to new people? And the answer is, well, you know, you could be as cool as apple pie, but if you don't have something that more people are interested in, well then, you know, maybe not many people are going to be impressed by you. And as it pertains to this promptology and all these different AI platforms that are all just sitting there waiting for someone to stack them and create it, it gives us an opportunity to be first and, and leading in an industry and bring everyone back and say, oh, you were so impressed with Rhino? Here, this is what Rhino does and we tie it all together. Um, so it's, we're never diverting, we're always just building. I just, why do I get spam calls all day, every day? Do you understand that since I've been on this call, I've had like 17 of them and that's a lie, but it's been like three or four. Um, so let me go. I have emails I still need to get to. Everyone in RVP or everyone in the affiliate platform, um, we had sent out the coin, everyone is paid. Um, we have a team call at 12 o'clock with our team. Um, anyone that has emailed me and said, hey, listen, I, I haven't received my Rhino, um, I've, I have found like, so each time I get one of those, I get frustrated because I'm getting a lot of them and not frustrated on that you're emailing me, but frustrated in the sense of like, how poor of a job that are we doing that, that so many people are, are, are letting us know this. Um, but what I'm also finding is about 99% of those individuals have not saved their wallet address. And about 50% of those individuals have been unable to because they can't log in. So there are things on our end we still need to improve, um, but I'm here to share with you the bot is functioning the way it's supposed to. Everyone that saved their address is getting their coin. So I think what I'm going to do is just tell our dev department to just take the day and manually input everyone's wallet address. I don't know. It, it, it seems like a, um, their, uh, a lesser use of their time than their salary would dictate, but something needs to be done. Like it just has to get done. Uh, Clickly has a Zoom today at 12. Well, have fun. Like, go to it. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a team called 12. Uh, RVP, I will be on at 2 o'clock. I'm going to do it for like 15 minutes. I have uh, shared that in our group. I just want to get in and get out because today uh, starts the AI project. But other than that, everyone, absolutely love you. Everything's going great. Um, today is better than yesterday, but not as good as tomorrow. So I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye.